Hey guys, welcome to Everyday Guitarist, where we do my everyday gear for everyday guitarists. Today we're talking about the JHS Cheese Ball. First of all guys, if you haven't subscribed, please do that, I'd really appreciate it. Uh, it helps me to continue doing these videos and get pedals and talk to manufacturers. As always, an everyday guitarist, I used sub $1,000 gear to demo this uh, pedal. Today I used my Ventera Thinline Telecaster into the Orange TH30 on the Clean Channel. Ran through the Two Notes Torpedo Live with a Mesa Vintage 30 loaded cabinet. So today we're talking about this guy right here, the JHS Cheese Ball. It's a fuzzy distortion, mostly a fuzz. It's based on something from the 90s. I don't even remember what it's called. All I know is it sounds really cool. I'd say it's kind of a cross between like a fuzz face and a big muff. It's kind of got characteristics of both, maybe even like a tone bender-y. Uh, it has a couple of interesting uh, features. One is this rotary knob here, which kind of switches between a few things. First, it's wide open, it has tons of gain, uh, and this control, the tone control, does not work in this setting. The next setting, one, is kind of like Big Muffy, it's very scooped in the mids and it's a really cool sound if you're looking for like that Smashing Pumpkins, really massive, chuggy, huge thing. Uh, the second sound is more mid-focused uh, and more like, more like a fuzz face, but with a tone control, which is really nice to have, it's really useful. I use that a lot on the song, this particular setting is really useful uh, for live stuff so you can really cut through a mix. And then the third is the most gain, and it has this really cool gated quality, and I can't play it here, but it sounds exactly like Spirit in the Sky. It's that super gated, like, thick, fuzzy, warm thing, and it's super cool, and I love it. Like, if all I could do with this pedal is do that sound, I would be very, very happy, because it's really, really, really cool. One of my favorite things is all the clean sounds on the, on the song you heard is this pedal. Uh, it cleans up wonderfully, very fuzz based germanium kind of thing. I don't know what's in it for transistors, but I know that it cleans up well, which is cool. Uh, with the volume knob, you can get it really clean and sparkly, and I imagine with single coils, which I actually haven't tried it with weirdly, uh, that it sounds beautiful. Uh, it sounds really, really, really good uh, doing the clean rolled volume thing, and then you can bring it up and get those huge, massive fuzz tones. Uh, it's one of my favorite things to do with any fuzz, uh, let alone this one, which does it really well. Um, clean tones from a, a really cranked fuzz are amazing to get, and this one is really good at it. So if you're looking for a really useful, versatile fuzz to throw on your board to, to kind of cover a lot of tones, whether it's the splittery, sputtery, spatty kind of thing, or the big muff thing, or the fuzz face thing, or the tone bender thing, I think this does a really good job of covering the range of fuzz tones in a really unique and usable way. Um, and for the price, it's tough to beat, so check it out, the JHS Cheese Ball.